Hello, konnichiwa. I hope you are having a great day today. My name is Kei and I am a pro trader and also a forex mentor based in Tokyo, Japan. Today I will introduce one of the most commonly asked questions about trading and I will answer to it today. So the question is like this. I look at the bigger time frame, then I look at the lower time frame and create a scenario. But when it comes to an entry, I tend to jump into the market without being able to wait for the setup and lose overtime. How can I stop trading like that? Well, you might have done same kind of trades. Like let's say you check the daily chart and you see it's bearish and you go down to 5 minute chart and you find it's also going down. So you place a sell accordingly. But soon after the entry, the price starts to go up and up and you start to worry. Oh, it's going up. Maybe I should cut loss. And you cut the loss. Right? However, later, the price goes down and you become regret. Have you ever experienced a trade like that? Well, if you have, then I will teach you why it happens and why you think the market always go against you and how you can avoid such a trade in the future. So if you like this topic, please press a good button and let's get started right now. So let's say you look at the bigger time frame and see it's bearish and you go down to 5 minute chart and place a sell accordingly, which is great. I mean, you follow the trend in both big and small time frames, so it's a great way to take trades that way. But as you look at the 5 minute chart and as you look at the momentum, it goes up and down. And when it goes up about like 20 pips, you might start to think, all right, maybe it keeps going up, so I just got lost now and you cut the position. And then you might go to another chart and keep looking for another trade chance. And obviously, if you keep this kind of habit, your capital will keep decreasing because you cannot keep holding the positions where the profit needs to be extended. But why do you think it happens? Why do you think you cut the loss too soon and cannot extend the profit? Now, there's a function in our brain called RAS. It stands for Reticular Activating System. And what this is, is for example, when you buy a new car, like a Nissan GTR, then you start to see and focus on the same Nissan GTRs on the street. You know, before buying that car, maybe you were not so much paying attention to it, but after you own it, you start to look at the same car you have or the same brand you have. In other words, you basically want to see what you want to see and whether the information is important or not. Regardless of the importance of the information, you only see things that you want to see. And RAS takes its function in your brain. So in other words, even if there's an important information right in front of you, you misunderstand and get biased by thinking what you see is important so that you don't really see what's really important to you. And also there's another factor. That is, basically, we all tend to choose the things you get in short term than choosing things in long term. Here is another example of human bias. Let's say if I say I give you $100 now or give you $110 next year, which one would you choose? Getting $100 right now or getting $110 next year? Which one would you choose? Well, most of the people choose to get $100 now because they want what they want right now. Logically and rationally speaking, if you get $110 next year, it will be 10% more than what you get now, right? So rationally speaking, it's better to get next year. But most of the people would choose to get $100 now because by getting the $100, they want the peace in mind right now. And this is just the nature of human being because it's all built in our brain function. However, when it comes to forex trading, you need to control that psychology. Because if you keep doing this in forex trading, you not only being able to win over time, but also you will be suffering mentally from thinking like, I cannot help jumping into the market and you get exhausted psychologically. So now the question is, how can you avoid such a behavior? Well, when you think you want to get profit from the market in front of the chart, what you're focusing on is what? The entry chance, right? 
So the way to avoid to see things in short term is by looking at the chart without thinking about trade chance or entry chance. In fact, no matter how long you look at the chart, there are days when you cannot find one single entry chance, right? So that's a reality. However, just because you want to be free from thinking about the entry chance and make profit, what you're constantly looking for is the entry chance only. And you jump into the market because you don't want to miss the chance, right? Or you might end up cutting loss just by a few pips where it's not reasonable. So rather than looking for the entry chance, think like this. Think and focus on where should I wait? Because too fast entry or too slow entry are just like the typical trading ways for the beginners and that's something everybody goes through. Even I used to do that kind of trades. But the reason of jumping into the market too fast or too slow is because RAS works in the brain. So to avoid that, you decide when to wait, where to wait, and what to wait for taking trades. You're focused on those questions. And that's what we call the trade strategies and rules. But if it's not concrete enough, then RAS will take your trades. So rather than you look at the tick movements in 5 minutes chart and just click a buy button, you let your body assimilate and know that creating a scenario and waiting for the right time is far more important than placing positions. For example, just like on these examples right here, the pushbacks like here or the range breakout should be basically enough to take trades. So for instance, in this case of pushback, on the left, the market marks first and second lows here, so you buy at the second pushback. Or you can just buy after the breakout of this yellow descending trend line, right here. Or if you look at the range breakout, you wait for the pullback, I mean you wait for the market to go up to the previous low here and place a sell from here, right? Also you can combine it with the moving average that's working on this market, you know? Uh, there are working indicators and not working indicators in different circumstances. So look for the moving average or Ichimoku Kinkohyo or whatever that's working under the particular condition and you can take them and combine them with your trade analysis. So just by having these simple techniques with lines and price actions, you can still take trades and make profit. But the point is, it becomes much better and effective than just jump into the market like at the number one here unreasonably. People take trades at this kind of place maybe just because they see the prices coming down or maybe just because there's only one signal from some kind of indicator. And either way, I think the only difference is how we see the market when it gets close to these places, you know? Some traders might think they want to get profit as soon as possible and want to get rid of that pressure. So they just jump into the market at like the number one and because they cannot wait until the market marks these kind of clear trading edges. But winning traders know the importance of waiting, when to wait, where to wait, how to take trades according to their planned scenario and when the time comes, they just take positions as planned without any emotional fluctuations. So the difference is only whether you have an ability to see what's really important in the market and rather than just jumping into the market to get the hundred dollars right in front of you, learn to wait, you know, learn to wait for the edges to get 110 or even more and let that habit rule your brain. Alright, thank you for watching the video. If you thought this video was helpful, please press a good button and also make sure to subscribe for further videos and live streamings every day. Alright, stay gold. Mata ne!